a Dallas cowboy, a fashion mogul, and country's biggest divas. Think she's too nice to put friends on ice? She's a die-hard vegetarian, but with these stars, Carrie Underwood is all about the beef. Longtime fans of Carrie Underwood might recall the star's previous relationship with former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo. According to Bleacher Report, the problem was that Romo allegedly didn't think the relationship was all that serious. After eight months, the two called it quits. Maybe that's why, when Underwood was asked if her song Cowboy Casanova was about Romo, she told Esquire, No, I would never immortalize a guy that did me wrong. I would never give him that much credit. As for Romo, he shared very little about Underwood beyond putting her in the friend zone, telling Sports Illustrated in 2007, I've been lucky to get to know her. We're friends. We've gone through similar walks in life and we enjoy hanging out. Last year, I watched American Idol for the first time. But Romo isn't the only athlete Underwood has been linked to. Her husband is former professional hockey player Mike Fisher. And luckily, it appears that the two are a perfect match. I got everything and more than I dreamed of, to be really honest. It's just because I'm sitting here. <laughs> Underwood's relationship with former Gossip Girl star Chase Crawford also fizzled out early on. According to Cosmo, the stars reportedly met in 2007. Things moved fast, and Crawford introduced Underwood to his parents and visited her on her tour. But eight months later, it was over, via text. As Underwood told the outlet, it was like, peace out. We both knew it didn't work and have no hard feelings whatsoever. Every day is a new day, and you'll never be able to find happiness if you don't move on. I've never really been one of those people, uh, a person that needs, uh, you know, a significant other. But if the split was amicable, we sure wouldn't be talking about it. As the singer recalled to Now Magazine, In my heart, I knew it wasn't right. You never really know why someone is with you. I feel like it was more of a publicity stunt. The star also noted times when paparazzi would suspiciously swarm her and Crawford during public outings. Fun fact. Chase's sister, Candace Crawford, has been married to Tony Romo since 2011, making Carrie's two exes official brothers-in-law. Underwood's alleged feud with fellow country music star Leanne Rimes made headlines. Rimes had a lot to say after Underwood won the Country Music Award for Female Vocalist of the Year in 2006. Many expected singer Faith Hill to win. And when she didn't, she and her fans were shocked. Rhymes chimed in on the matter, defending Hill's bad reaction to Underwood's win. In a statement published to her website, she wrote, These award shows are so political and we all get fed up with them. We all work very hard and have for many years, so to see someone come in and win female vocalist that has been here for a very short time is a little disheartening. She probably felt, as I did, that Carrie has not paid her dues long enough to fully deserve that award. It appears that Underwood wasn't thrilled by the statement, with a source telling Star Magazine, Carrie saw it as a shallow and shameful welcome into the industry, and it showed Leanne's true colors. Another insider claimed Underwood requested a new dressing room after finding out she had been placed next to Rhymes at the CMA Country Christmas special. Underwood has yet to publicly speak out against Rhymes. After Underwood and Tony Romo split, the former football player dated Jessica Simpson. Underwood seemingly ruffled Simpson's feathers with a comment she made about Romo. Describing her ex, Underwood told Allure in 2008, We were both small-town people doing very big things, and we relied on each other, dealing with fame. When asked about their current status, she said, I don't know, the phone will ring and it'll be him and I'll maybe not answer. Simpson quickly shut down the claims, telling the Woody and Jim show, Tony and I both laughed at that. Yeah, we got a chuckle out of it. Simpson then joked that she looked through Romo's call history to ensure it was free of Underwood's number. Simpson also addressed a shirt she once wore that read, Real Girls Eat Meat, a potential jab at Underwood who is a longtime vegetarian. Simpson clarified, I thought it was funny. I don't know what Carrie eats. I didn't know she only eats vegetables. Underwood later told Elle she had no intention of feuding with Simpson. Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood both won their seasons of American Idol and went on to earn massive success in their careers. They have a lot in common, and that's including the fact that they allegedly can't stand each other. Still, the stars insist there's no bad blood between them. They even made a point of it by once walking the red carpet together at the Radio Disney Music Awards. As Clarkson explained to Entertainment Tonight, everybody always tries to pit me and Carrie against each other. So when I saw her, I was like, you know what, let's just end this right now and get a picture together because we are never in the same place. And like, it never happens. People always try and put it together like we're like enemies. I'm like, we don't even know each other well enough to be enemies.
Yet it appears that despite their obvious efforts, reports insist they're embroiled in grueling competition with each other. An anonymous source told Star Magazine that Underwood was allegedly upset when Clarkson released her Kellyoke EP around the same time that her own album, Denim and Rhinestones, dropped. The outlet also claimed that Reba McIntyre once had to intervene in the singer's feud. True or false, we'll let you be the judge on this one. It might be safe to say that Underwood's not a Billy Eichner fan, mainly because she has him blocked on Twitter. And if you're wondering why, here's what went down. In 2021, Eichner tweeted a screenshot that showed he had been blocked by Underwood, captioning it, iconic, with no further explanation. But he finally opened up about the situation on Watch What Happens Live in 2022. Harry Underwood blocked me on Twitter, yeah, which I consider a great honor. I do too! <laughs> you know, it was one of the great thrills of my life. Yeah. The star says he was blocked because he poked fun at Underwood after she retweeted a post opposing children wearing masks at school during the pandemic. Underwood has yet to speak out about Eichner's statement or reveal the real reason why she blocked him. 